from Virginia and Ararat and some of the higher elevations too up in Stokes County. We've had reports there too. So something to look for over the next couple of evenings. You may be able to see this later tonight, not necessarily directly overhead, but from you know hundreds of miles away, you can see the northern lights and it is expected to be dipping a little bit farther south for folks to view up in the mid Atlantic and up into the northeast. So something to check out tonight and tomorrow evening if you get a chance. And I know we've had a little bit of firework activity too over areas of the Carolina Classic Fair in Winston Salem tonight. Beautiful as we have that ridge of high pressure in place. We're looking at dry air starting to fill in. So the mid and upper levels, this is helping us out, brought us a lot of good sunshine today. You might have a little bit of cloud cover early tomorrow morning before we see more sun. So we are looking forward to new air mass change as we go later to the, into the week too. 64 degrees in Greensboro. We've got you at 67 in Winston Salem right now and 61 in Mount Airy. We are going to be cooling down even more through the next couple of mornings as we see a new air mass in place. But tomorrow feels pretty comfortable if you're heading out to see that High Point Autumn Rowing Festival. This is at Oak Park Hollow Festival Park, so check that out tomorrow. You're also looking at that mid level jet stream wind speed over the next couple of days. All of the staying to our north and the pattern is to build that ridge of high pressure here at the surface with most of the energy around us in the Carolinas, and that's great news. It also may block us from seeing what is now another tropical system in the Gulf of Mexico named Milton. All right, our hour by hour forecast looks pretty good. A couple of those clouds early morning on Sunday. Temperatures returning into the mid and upper 70s with more sunshine, a light wind, and at times we've been a bit breezy, noticing that we have a chance to see some passing showers overnight into early Monday morning. If we see much, it should just be a sprinkle for folks up over areas of Virginia. And as we watch that front pull through on Monday, you'll notice a big drop in the humidity. We also have temperatures in the upper 70s to near 80 on Monday as a result of that new air mass and that front passing through. Highs today, 81 degrees in Greensboro, Burlington, Winston-Salem, 75 typically this time of the year. So it was nice to have a little bump and nice to have a breeze too. Temperatures tomorrow starting out at 61 degrees to low 60s elsewhere in the foothills too with 79. Winds out of the southwest at 3 to 6 miles an hour from 56 in the foothills with some fog near 78 and very pleasant afternoon. Mountain temperatures, we stay dry. Thankfully, we have more sunshine for you on the way. 53 degrees as folks are still trying to clear some of the debris and there's still some power lines down and still water uh, wash out some of those roads up and even the northern mountains from Watauga as we go up into ash. So please use extra caution out there as we watch that ridge of high pressure though building is going to keep us from dealing with what is tropical storm M uh, Milton right now. Milton is in the southwestern section of the Gulf of Mexico and we're expecting to see the system approach the coast of Florida over the next couple of days. It'll intensify, become a category three and potentially make landfall between Tampa and move right over Orlando. You can see the track here taking it right back out to sea. Fortunately, it looks like no inland impact to North Carolina at all from the storm, and we're grateful for that. We need a break. We've got sunshine for you. We've got beautiful weather, sunshine and low 70s, but chilly mornings ahead, so folks in the mountains will need to be keeping warm, especially folks without the power. We'll keep you posted on all of it.